Hello, I'm Jacob Elzik, CEO of Armature Systems. A crucial part of maintaining any large firewall infrastructure is being able to automate configuration management. At Armature Systems, we can use multiple platforms to achieve this. However, today, Luis is going to show you how to leverage Ansible to push out configurations to your firewall. Hi, my name is Luis Torres, and I'm a network security engineer at Armature Systems. Today, I will be going over how to create an Ansible environment. Then I will show you how to use this Ansible environment to communicate with Palo Alto network firewalls and configure them. Let's begin. Here, I'm demonstrating the file tree or the directory structure that needs to be created. The Ansible environment contains one playbook, its configuration file, its host, its roles, its encrypted variables, and the Python virtual environment. I'm going to be showing you how these are created by starting off with the virtual environment. The virtual environment requires Python version 3 and its package installer called pip. A Python virtual environment can be created by executing the following command, virtual vnv. vnv is the parameter and can be any name you pick. It's done. Let's now move on to activating the virtual environment. It's done by typing source vnv slash pin slash activate. You can verify if the virtual environment is activated by the which command. Now that we're in the virtual environment, we can continue with installing Ansible. Once it's done, we can then configure Ansible. We do this by creating ansible.cfg and creating its defaults that include its role path, the virtual Python path, and its inventory file. Save that and we can continue with installing the Palo Alto Network's Ansible module. This can be done by entering the following command. Ansible Galaxy install Palo Alto Networks Palo Alto Networks. Once that's done, we can now install the hosts file. Create a category called firewall and add the IPs of the management interface of the Palo Alto firewalls. Now that we're done with that, we can move on to creating the encrypted variables file called vars.yml. We enter a password to encrypt the file and now enter our Ansible variables. We save and close. Let's try verifying that the contents are encrypted. OK. Now let's take a look at the playbook file. This file contains a name, its host, roles, variables, and tasks. The task in this playbook will configure administration policies, NAT roles, and administration users on the Palo Alto firewalls. It then checks if the firewall is ready and commits the configuration. Let's see this in action. Run the following command, ansible playbook ask vault pass add admins.yml. Be patient and let the play finish. The recap provides useful information when running plays. To review, I explained how to create an Ansible environment, configure the environment, and run plays. Thank you. These automation playbooks can be combined with ITSM or CMDB tools such as ServiceNow or PagerDuty in order to automatically push firewall configurations on the fly, saving your organization time and money without having to sacrifice security policy. If you'd like to know more, please visit armaturesystems.com.